guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be making a dikai kong soup which is a very popular soup eaten in cross river state and also aquaibom state so in front of you here are the ingredients this is spinach normally water leaf is used but if you don't have water leaf spinach will do just next to it you have pumpkin leaf or ugu then you also have two dry fish i'm also going to be using turkey these are turkey legs and next to it you have chicken and then you also have goat meat then i'm also going to be using um atarudu or scotch bonnet pepper and two red onions i'm going to be using cameroon pepper which is a very hot pepper, so use with caution. Then I'm also going to be using some stock cubes. Then, obviously, I'm going to be using salt, palm oil, and last but not least, crayfish. Another thing that I'm going to be using, which is not here, is my prawn. So... I'll be showing you that one later on. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. It's the shrimp I'll be using. Fresh frozen shrimp. So the first thing I am going to do is pluck the uh, pumpkin leaves, the ugu leaves and the spinach and put wash them properly. Chop them and put them in separate bowls. Then I'm also going to wash this fish. It's quite hard. I'm going to wash it with salt and boiling water and put that aside and then i'm also going to steam uh wash all the chicken season it season it with just salt and pepper and a bit of onions and boil it in the pot and then chop my i'm also going to chop my pepper and my onions as well so i'm chopping the onions that i'm going to put with the meat to boil gonna cut some pepper normally I will ground this in a mortar or blend it but I don't want to I want to use my hands so I have washed the chicken and turkey with hot water and salt and I'm going to parboil it in the pot as you can see me doing I'm going to parboil it and then put it in the oven because this is soft chicken and soft turkey next I'm adding the goat milk so I'm going to put it on the fire now and boil it till it's a bit soft not too soft especially for the chicken then I'll put transfer to the oven so it'll be a bit dry, not too dry, but I don't want it too soft in the soup. So as I put this in now, I'm going to add some onions, some red onions. To season it. And some pepper. I'm not using my hand, I'm using it. Because I've just washed my hand, I don't want it to. Um, this is really lethal pepper, but that's okay for now, I think. I'm gonna add some salt. This is a lot of meat, and then I'm gonna add some water. You can see the meat and the chicken in the pot so i'm going to be switching that on now to cook and the oven is on already i'm going to let that boil to be soft so i want the meat goat meat to be soft and the turkey and the chicken to be soft but not breaking apart and i'll transfer everything to the oven so here is the dry fish so i'm going to 
put some boiling water. I put some salt first. I put some boiling water. The reason why we put salt is to, you know, make sure all the dust and dirt and all the things that you don't want have come out of it. So I'm going to leave that to soak for about 20 minutes. Then I'll wash it and then break it apart and remove everything I don't want in it. And then I'll be ready to put it into the meat when it's cooked, not now. I'm also going to be using stock fish fillets. I'm going to be putting it because it's quite hard. But it's the fillet that means it hasn't got bones. I'm going to be putting it here and adding some hot water. This soup is going to be amazing. So the Dikai Ko is a very rich soup full of different kinds of meat, fish, so as you can see, it's quite hard. So I'm going to add some hot water. To soften it a bit. I'm going to, I'm going to add some salt as well, like I did with the dry fish. I'm going to leave that aside as well. And that's the dry fish. So both of them are soaking in hot boiling water. So now I can start plucking my leaves. Now I want to pluck this thing. So we don't want to use the stalks because they're quite hard so we don't use them just going to use the leaves so i'm going to continue plucking this and when i'm done plucking the pumpkin leaf then i'll start on the spinach i'll i'll just cut the ends off wash it thoroughly because most times it has sand wash it thoroughly for a couple of times then chop it and put them in two different bowls now i want to cut the pumpkin leaf Continue cutting it like this till I'm finished cutting everything because I know you guys don't want to watch me cutting everything, but that would just waste your time and make the video too long. I'm going to cut the spinach, I'll finish cutting the ugu leaves. A bit of the stock, like the soft part, is fine. I'm just gonna start from the stock and just cut it. vegetables have been cut it's done so let me go and clean up then i'll come and start on the dry fish the smoked cut fish and the um stock fish fillets i'm going to put the turkey the chicken and the meat goat meat in the oven to be a bit dry so that's the chicken and the turkey and that's the goat meat ready to go into the oven but i'm going to be doing putting it probably for about 20 minutes 20 to 25 minutes now i'm ready to wash the fish I'm starting with this one it's been soaking in this water now for about 20 minutes so it's just as you can see it's soft and i scrubbed it i i scrubbed it as well with salt I'm just going to be scattering it, breaking it apart. So the dried fish is done. As you can see, I've taken it apart. 
I'm going to start on the stockfish fillet, which see as you can see is very soft now. Before it was very hard. I'm just gonna put them on this plate. Stockfish gives vegetable soup or any native soup a nice taste. So this is why I'm adding it. As you can see, the stockfish is done and the dry fish is done. See, the meat stock is back on the fire, so I'm going to put the meat in now. I'm going to let that boil for a couple of minutes, like two minutes. When it starts to boil, then I will add the, the crayfish, the pepper, and the oil. So as you can see, it's starting to boil now. So I'm adding the, the onions. The rest of the pepper remember i used some when i was boiling the meat and the chicken the crayfish i'm adding two heap spoons of crayfish dry ground crayfish Then I'm adding the oil. Now I'm, I'm going to add the stock cubes. And the cube I'm using is no no stock cubes so now i am going to add i'm going to add the dry fish the stock fish I'm going to let that combine for about 10 minutes. It is all well combined. So now, as you can see, it's been boiling. The oil has been on the fire for about. 10 to 10 minutes, so now I'm adding the spinach. I'm going to let that go for 5 minutes, then I'll be putting the pumpkin leaf or ugu leaf in. Then I'll taste for salt, and if you need salt, I'll add a bit of salt. And then the last thing I'll put is the prawn, because prawn doesn't take long, and I don't want it to be overcooked and hard. I'm going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of Cameroon pepper, because it's quite hot. I don't want it to be too pepper. If not, my kids will not be able to eat. That's it. I am 
put in the pumpkin leaf. The pumpkin leaf goes in. And our ID kind of soup will soon be ready. Then I can show you guys. And it's like I'm gonna leave that so it can all combine. If you don't want the pumpkin leaf to be overcooked, so I'm just gonna let that go for five, only five minutes. Or five to six minutes at the most. Now I'm adding the prawns. And that's gonna just cook for another two, three minutes. And I'll be switching it off. Guys, the soup is ready. As you can see, it's reduced. The water is reduced because I, I took some stock of out and put in a different bowl because I'm going to use that to make afang next week. So, because afang and edi kai kong soup, you're not supposed to have too much liquid in it. Just lots of vegetables, meat, and oil. So, I'm going to be dishing it out and showing you guys what it looks like on a plate. But if you've watched up to this point, and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel because it's free. And please give your girl a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So guys, here is the soup, the Edikanye Kong soup. That is it in a plate. So as you can see, it's fully loaded with turkey, chicken, goat's meat, prawn, dry fish, and stock fish. With obviously the vegetables, which is ugu leaves and spinach with the other ingredients I used and palm oil.